the first thing you have to do is to decide to do it, to do what you want to do, and then overcome all of those so-called handicaps which people are supposed to have and make it an obsession with you, the obsession of achievement, if uh, uh, I can call it that. What made Barbara special was uh, her sense of dignity of each human being. And I think it came out of the fact that she had overcome so many barriers. She overcame the racial barrier, she overcame the gender barrier, she overcame the physical handicap barrier, and yet that didn't affect the way she looked at people. And I think that's the way she looked at society. Barbara Jordan was also a pioneer. In 1966, she became the first African-American elected to the Texas Senate in almost a century. Six years later, she left Texas for Washington, D.C. as the first Southern African-American Congresswoman in U.S. history. In 1979, she returned to Texas, working as a professor at the LBJ School of Public Affairs, the same school that sponsored the 16th annual Barbara Jordan Forum last February. She was black, she was a woman, um, she also had a female partner. She stood up for people when it was necessary, and I think it's always important to honor people who do what they believe is right, because I don't know if a lot of people do that anymore. Barbara Jordan was a great teacher. She was a great mentor. Um, it's her seed that she is passing down, and that's a phenomenal part to be a part of. If you go to her graveside out at the State Cemetery, on the back side of that monument, there's only one word, and that word is teacher. What she wanted to be remembered as, with all the things she did, was a teacher. And she wanted those values that she believed in to show up in her students. And that's why the Barbara Jordan Forum is so important.